Abusia aha a Ghana TV one senior A D kind and number two just say a year the late um Jerry John Rollins waka baby no uh in a moon sem kakana ja ya bua no ye de baba somu senior omwa na omu ni what during the time no so omu tia umbe hu bibi kakra afa a year Jerry John Rollins on potaka sam ye beka ni se the biography of Jerry John Rollins and one sem na mede brew and a mede ebe somu we Jerry John Rollins was born in Accra in 1947 to Madame Victoria Agbochu. So I stand to be corrected. The name is Nidino Semamonia Mumfancheme, a native of Jokulo in the Volta region, and James Ramsey Noah. Hey. Cut. My mistake, cut. <laughs> <coughs> The biography of Jerry John Rollins. Jerry John Rollins was born in Accra in 1947 to Madame Victoria Agbochu. I stand to be corrected. A native of Joglopo in the Volta region and James Ramsey John, a Scottish chemist. He attended Achimota School before enrolling in the Ghana Armed Forces qualification as a pilot officer in 1969. Ten years after, in May 1979, Je Mr. Jerry, Mr. Jerry John Rollins burst into the Ghanaian politics scene after he was arrested for attempting to overthrow the then military regime of General F. W. K. Akufu. He faced a possible death sentence. However, a speech he gave during his trial is noted with a large section of the public that rose up in his defense. <coughs> Consequently, on 4th June, soldiers sympathetic to his motivation broke him out of jail and he led a a revolt of both the military and civilians which overthrew the regime and left him in charge. He and the other junior officers formed the Armed Forces Revolution Council to embark on what they termed as house cleaning, which saw the trial and execution of some leading figures, including three former heads of state. After organizing a general election and heading over the civilian government led by Dr. Helena Lehman, Hela Lehman in September, Rollins returned to power on December 31st, 1981 through another coup d'etat and ruled as chairman of the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, until 1992. He went he raised when he resigned from the military to contest for president on the ticket of the newly formed national democratic congress chairman rollins as he was then known won the landslide victory with 58.3 percent of the votes while the party won 189 out of the 200 parliamentary seats available he and his party again won election in 1996, stepped down in 2001 after serving two terms as allowed by constitution. Chairman Rollins, as he was then known, won the, light, the line slide victory with After stepping down, he has still been involved in local politics, often criticizing Perceived governments, including those of his own party, on various issues, especially those bordering on corruption. He has regular explosive criticism and speeches have earned the nickname Dr. Boom. Mr. Rollins was married to Nana John, Nana Kunedu Ajemai Rollins, a candidate in the 2016 general election which whom he has four adult children, including Dr. Zeneta Rollins, MP4, Kolete Koli. Abusia, we are in Sam Kakra, a the late Jerry John Rollins, who I brought a school, ne ne ma, ne ne papa, baby, I won't.
any accent to modern bar rubber bow mining moon see I ne ye 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 kino and I say and now what's on a ha gana mining in an and semi in semi na mabona mabia ba bow top fan. Kai say aha a ye gana TV one now saying to look of subscribe to your channel no ama ye pepe pe now saying stop a ye notification bell no babo mojina a ja ye juma man me a me de a ye voice over a girl me ani a fia Hello, let's go. Ghanaian leader, Flight Lieutenant Jerry Rollins. All planters, do you have corn? I'm talking about planters, not diggers. Let me see you by the hand. Up. Good. Now, those of you who have the corn sacks, go and supply. But you've got corn in your left hand. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now, those of you with the sacks, better watch out and feed us. Okay? Now, where is he? You take over. <laughs> Under Rawlings, Ghana has rediscovered a sense of direction. He is pursuing a policy of socialism, but the slogans are often more militant than the practice. And the line is not straight. Move! The country does need strong leadership. One urgent goal is to re-establish respect for farming. Another is to improve efficiency on the land. The point is, as they dig the holes, you, the planters, put the seeds in their holes. All right? Every digger make sure you've got a plant. Rowling's high-profile politics include setting a public example in the fields and encouraging the masses to cooperate in self-help. It is only by collective effort that the nation's problems can be solved. There are still some people who would like the nation to go back to childhood. Such a person was the man from the Osu People's Defense Committee, most unfortunate, who got up to speak at the budget debate at Parliament House recently, and who said that everything was fine when the white man was here. And so we should bring him back to help us. This man and others who think like him longs for the dependency of childhood. But we are grown up, or should be. We are supposed to be old enough to realize that the nation is now paying the rest of the outstanding bill for those easier days, when so many of our resources were squandered. <laughs> Although Rawlings is a military man, he is more concerned with mobilizing for development than for war. His concept of economic conscription is an attempt to enlist more and more citizens into the process of production and social transformation. But Ghana's economy is fragile. The IMF has helped with loans, but ordinary workers still haven't seen much benefit. Political stability remains elusive, and Rowling's own position is far from secure. To safeguard both his and the country's future, the Rowling's rhetoric now speaks of mobilizing both Ho and Gun. The right to defend your freedom is a must. Sure. Oh, no, yeah. Yeah. And the means of having to do so is something you will have to acquire. Oh no. It's a long way off. We've lost a lot of time in having to democratize violence. She means only being a or why you're here later. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Right from America to China to Russia. I mean more fair more like two track and off and ten year old children can you be you be never is the democratization of violence. Oh no. Whoever took control of the uh, bullets, the guns, uh, 
was obviously going to dominate you. And that's the way it's been. That's the way it is in the third world. The military's monopoly of the gun must be broken if the people are to prevail. Ironically, many Americans would agree with radical rulings that the people have a democratic right to bear arms. Whether that results in stability is another question. The right to defend, honor near, your freedom. Honor, to enable Kony soldier to get used to the idea. Okay, that civilian also.